Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, getting to some of them words, I'll just tell you about something that I've been noticing lately here is the word source and sorcery. Pretty much it's self-explanatory. Um, but I look at it like this. Uh, if my kid came up to me and asked me, hey, source, is supper ready? I'd say, um, this source just cut you off because you can't honor me enough to call me your parent by my name. If you can't think of Father Almighty or humble yourself enough for that. Oops, <laughs> got a piece of tobacco on there. Um, it's important. Uh, I cringe every time I hear it because I know what it means and I know Satan's laughing at us or at you, the people that are saying it. And I know the two, two in particular that are letting and saying it on their page for, on their page, on their channel. Um, mostly women say it. It is kind of like a star thing that was started um, to humiliate God and to take them down and to have Satan draw more people in. So if you're trying to appease other people by um, letting them call our father source, um, you need to get in touch with your gut instinct a little more, that feeling that comes up and then it kind of bubbles in your chest. You know, it's a little feeling for good or bad. It's real. Um, you really need to talk to the father about that more or I'm gonna actually have to consider you my adversary you know I don't want to have to do that um, the thing is excuse me um, I asked God to give me love over my words so I, I'm not too radical about it but it it fries me up to the point of fighting i hate it i definitely just hate it um people are so being used with language it's uh um amazing to me actually the work that was put into it just to take god down but you, you have to consider that these people want you dead and they want God dead. They want all ability for humans to exist in their hands. They want to have control of everything, which they can't because God is a scientist. He's an all chemist and he's actually a being, a human being, all internal all infinite the same way we were made and then you're letting some little source get in there with his language and twist people up and the people that are twisting up you're letting them play with you god it makes me cringe dudes i i i barely have words for it it's sickening um I humbled myself. That's my father. Are, are we so distant from our forefather? Not even creator. He's our father. He loves us. Are we so distant that we would call him anything but a parent? You know? I hope that part hits home. I hope it's a parent you know um did you know that i think i have a lot of things to say and it could reach people different places i mean i'm i'm in a ratty situation but i'm going to tell you what nobody's ever shared one of my videos even ones that i thought dang that's some good information people need to hear nobody not one time it's amazing you know makes you wonder but i also know that i'll never get kicked off youtube not just because i know god loves me but um 
if Satan pisses me off, well, then he'll pay that price too. And believe me, you can tell I'm relentless. So just as relentless as he is, actually more so because I have the armor of God. That makes me worse. It really does. He hates me. He loves me and he hates me. But he hates me more. He hates all of us. So, and he does. He wants us dead. He wants God's, God dead. He wants the ability to do and say anything he wants with God's material. His children. His earth. His universes. His being. He wants control of the whole thing. That's what this is all about. And money is not the root of all evil. It was incest. It was rape. It was murder. And it was cannibalism. Then these same families kept inbreeding, hiding the secret, making money. Money is not the root of all evil. That's just a cover-up. To cover up their sins. So they can continue to do what they want to do for Satan. He uses them. They're his kids. They don't care. They're stupid like that. Because they know that God will never want any trash in his house. So they just carry on. Well, they could be saved too. All they have to do is ask. But I'll tell you what, you're not going to get on your hands and knees and say, Dear Source, help me. I'll, I'll guarantee you that will never work. So remember, source and sorcery, and if you're going to allow that, then you're allowing a part of that in your life. If you're going to appease that, if that's the type of people that you need on your channel, if you think you're going to change that, trust me, by being a more stern word of God, a sterner mouthpiece, you'll attract the right kind of people, not the wrong ones. You don't want the wrong ones. So why play into their hands? You know, it's important. It's very important. So anyway, I hope everybody is doing fine. I'm Actually, it's my second take on, well, maybe third. I had a four-second one after I did a long spiel about this because, um, it, it really does make me cringe when I hear it. it. It's so sickening. It's the words. It's the words Satan wants to hear. It's the words he, he's laughing at you. These people that, that whoever thinks they're cool by calling our parent source, uh, it's disgusting. And I'll be the stern mouth, mouthpiece. I'll be the bad guy here. I don't care. When it comes to my father, slay me. Could care less. There's nothing you can say to me to make me change my mind from right and wrong. What I know is right and what is wrong. And I've been praying about this for a long, long time. This is not instant. This here probably started about 10 years ago. And um, I was just waiting for the day to speak it loud. And this is the day. So, um, you might want to consider other people in the world might want to know. It's up to you. It's on your heart. Maybe you want to take my words and use them. That's what most people do. They don't really communicate with me in a big way. Some do. Don't get me wrong. Subs that do. I love you so much. You're precious to me. I'm serious. Um, the time that you take is really incredible and you're actually putting your head out on the line and you know that too that's amazing you're you're strong too so anyway I'll, i'm gonna go take a shower i i needed to get this out it it just makes me sick um it's so improper if you gotta humble yourself just a little bit more you know um, I have glass in my finger. I've had it in there for a long time. I could go get it chopped up, 
but I don't trust doctors, so I've been getting it out a little at a time. So I always have this Band-Aid on, and no, I'm not a pedophile, raper, creep, low-life piece of trash. Did I say enough words there? Um, I actually have glass in my thumb. I was moving uh, some stuff out of a shed. Excuse me. And a window pane slipped onto my fishing gear and broke, and I went to grab it and actually got um, glass in these two fingers and that thumb. Here, I got most of that out, I think. So, um, anyway, words are really important, and I was thinking about opening up that dictionary again, but I thought even one word at a time, you know. And if you look up source in Hebrew, I'm sure there'll be more on it and go back to Aramaic. I mean, stuff is online. It seriously is. But if you just take the root of a word, you know, and I can't stress to you enough, money is not the root of all evil. This fight between God and Satan has nothing to do with money. Absolutely nothing. So, it's not even a control thing. Satan already lost. You know, it's it's his babies that think that there's some kind of power where there is nothing. That's why I'm so fearless, because I could care less about that small crap. And that's true. It's very true. There's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to Satan. The worst he can do to you is put you where you want to be. That's the worst he can do. Oh, he can take your money away. He can make it more difficult. He can do like he does me. Make sure that very few people even communicate with me. And that's that's the way he treats me because I'm that bad. He does not want my words out here. So when you're searching your heart, when I ask you to share, search your heart. What's your heart telling you? What video that you watched of mine kind of said something to you might be the one you need to ch share, you know. I'm not getting no money for this. This I pray to our Father so I can get words out to help people, and that's all I give a shit about. So I heard from my youngest son, Jonathan. I got a message from him on fa Facebook, so I was pretty thrilled about that. I hope he stays healthy and well, and I'm praying that. I'll hear from my other son. It's been, oh, 11 years. Long story to that. But, um, I'll just put Satan in there again. Bastard took everything from me. But doesn't mean it's the way it's going to end up. I mean, I have faith like that. So when I do hear from one of my kids, I'm truly blessed. And, um. They're really struggling because their mom's got a big mouth. So, yeah, people that get close to me, you, you'll you pay until we can end this shit. But I'll pay. I don't give a shit. But paybacks are a bitch. So when we get our turn, when God comes and, and he will, trust me, put an end to all this, the Satanists are going to be um, squirming. Well, they're already squirming. It's delightful. Oh, and that little boy I called Mr. Green. I'm just calling him little boy now. He would not back down. He's like, oh, still too much talking about the pedophilia and stuff. Well, tough shit, she little. Yeah, okay, I should take that out of there. But you know what? I'm not going to. I'm just telling you what, when it comes to people needing to talk about this and people needing to know that they're not alone like that, talk until the earth ends because that's how important it is for you to talk about it. You need to. And the people that it happened to, I'm here for you anytime. Even just being, being one of my subs is most likely you can relate in one respect or another 
And you know what? You're the ones I'm fighting for. You're it. So I just wanted you to know that to help keep you safe. And I'm praying that the two channels I heard that, I mean, you're, you're basically catering to the Eastern Star um, when you want to say that this is how we're going to address our Father and it's okay if we let other people do that. If you want to let other people do that, I really can associate with you. And where I had high hopes of lots of friends, well, I guess there'll be a few more than what I wanted. But, you know, that's the way it goes. First your money, then your clothes, and then the whole earth. And I think that's freaking hilarious. I mean, people, oh, we live in a matrix, this, and, and um, electronic frequency, this, that, and the next thing, just so unhuman. The words that we use nowadays in our society to communicate with each other and our father is like way too new wave for me it's like oh yeah i guess like 60 years is freaking ancient hey god your little girl is ancient how funny is that we're eternal that's how funny that is so well I'm going to go shower, y'all, and if I think of more to chew on, I, you know, right now, I'm not naming no names, but I am ready, about ready. If I see, see that these people are actually my adversaries, I'm coming after you. I really am, in a big way, bigger than you ever thought this tiny little channel could, so you just keep that in mind, because I do talk directly to my father. I believe and hope you do, too. But you ain't going to be talking to him on your knees, calling him source. I'll guarantee you that. So uh, I'm going back to that pedophilia again, too. I'm about ready to, uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do or what I'm going to say yet. But I'm going to make a video to blow his little ass right out of the water. Because I, I slowed him down with this shit one time. I'll do a lot more than that. Prayers do work. And if somebody's leading people wrong, I'm on your ass. So you might not think I can do much, but you'd be very surprised. So I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to surprise a lot of people. So anyway, um, peace and love from Pine City. Hey, you guys have a good night. I do love y'all.